Good morning guys, my name is Jonathan and this will be an unboxing video. Uh, before we start, today is uh, June 7th, right now it's 9.30 in the morning. Uh, what, I what I have here next to me is a Jolushi jo um, skillet or grill. Um, I got this from Overstock.com during Memorial Day, which is about a week ago. Uh, the shipping took about probably five days. Probably almost a week as well to get here so I actually just got this a few days ago uh, quickly let me open it and show you guys what it looked like but first of all it came in this huge box uh, the packaging was good so I had to give credit to overstock.com uh, when I was shopping for this uh, grill or skillet um, I was shopping looking through the online for prices uh, for like Amazon and stuff like that uh, also Walmart, um, different variety of website. And what I found out that the cheapest one was overstock.com. Uh, they gave me about maybe 15% off or 20% off. So in the end, I got this for 137 or 138. Um, whereas compared to some of the other website, the cheapest is about 141. So you actually save about a few bucks. But the retail price for this is about 170, I believe. 170 or 180. So, um, let me quickly show you guys. So, the model number is, uh, well, that's the brand, uh, Joe Lushi, um, Gourmet uh, Electro Electric Skillet EPRAC50. So, that's the model number. And from the picture, you could see that, um, I assume you probably could make like a hot pot out of it. Uh, they have skillet where you could cook steak and stuff like that. So the reason why I bought this is mainly to make um, barbecue hot pot, Korean barbecue. So that's why I decided to use this. Uh, you do come with uh, on the side box right here. You could say it does come with uh, two different pan. Uh, one, oh, there's a glare right here. Two different one. One of the, the deeper one, you could use it uh, uh, in the stove. You, you could actually use uh, this pan to cook with it. But the other one, the smaller one, you cannot. You have to use the the this equipment itself. So anyway, let me quickly open it. Uh, so on the top, it has an instruction label say that it's AC 120 volt, uh, 1350 watt. It's made in USA, um, compatible. Um, really nicely sealed on top right here. So let me... Slice it open. Quickly show you guys. I know that there's actually a lot of video up online on YouTube kind of talk about this grill. Um, but I don't know. I don't see anybody doing an unboxing video. So I decided to do like an unboxing video for you guys. Uh, let me pop. Okay, so this thing is extremely well packaged. Um, on the side right here on this side of the box it show you a, a method how to store these so method of storage is a instruction on it very well packed let me slowly open it and see so when you open it on the top first thing you get is a power cord like i say it's nicely packaged uh, the power cord has a magnet so you could just detach uh, from the grill itself easily uh, with the skillet, I don't know exactly what I call this right now. Um, it has a Japanese writing and Chinese writing um, on it. Obviously, it's made. It's from Japan. Uh, the brand itself, a lot of instruction, warranty, and how to use it and stuff like that. This is a non-stick pan, so just want to let you guys know. So when I take this plastic foam out. Very tightly sealed. Wow, guys. Extremely well packaged. Look at this. Exactly. So, you got the grill and everything. And pretty much it's the shape of the foam itself, if you guys could see it. Different layer. So, yeah. Let's check it out slowly. Um, I guess first thing first, let's take the top. 
uh, I guess you have to take all of them out at the same time. There we go. Let's put this back and put it on the floor. So first thing, you got yourselves a lid, one single lid. You got yourself, ooh, this thing is light. Let's quickly show you this, because most likely I'll be using this today. Um, look at that. It's about a few inch deep. Um, not extremely deep. Definitely could grill stuff on it. Uh, there is a indentation. So the center is a bit higher by a few centimeter. And so when you cook stuff, all the grease will go to the side. This is nonstick. Um, in terms of this small pan, you cannot cook it on top of the stove. You cannot. It has to cook on this uh, machine right here. So let me put it on the side. Oh, you know what? Let me put, put it back the bag because I want to keep it nice. So I'll put it back. The second one, um, right below that, this is a, I don't know what you call it, a steamer, I guess what you call it. So you could open this and then you could put it on the, the pot itself and you could steam buns on it or you could put different stuff like that, which uh, come in handy. So it's very nice. I like this. Let's put it on the side. And here's the big grill. This is the, this is the one that way you could use a hot pot or, you know, whatever you want. Like this is a little bit deeper, as you see. Um, I don't know how much deeper, but it is a lot more deeper. You could put make soup on it, and um, you could yeah, you could just sit in front of the table and eat. Um, okay, so let me quickly show you the instruction on the side right here. I don't know if you guys could see it. So it says deep dish in a pan for soup and fondue. So you could do fondue and soup, uh, titanium titanium ceramic flat plate. Uh, non-stick coated ideal for grilling so I'll be using the grill for today but I won't use the tall one though I'll probably use the the smaller one uh, you could also use the steaming plate which I just saw show you guys that's the steaming plate uh, adjustable temperature uh, setting from 176 degree to 480 degree so that's that's pretty high that's good so let's put that back I do want to say that when you are cooking this just be careful, you do not want to touch the edge of it while you cook. Um, just use a chopstick or fork, you know, arch your arm around it, because then when you touch it, you might get burned, definitely. Mm -hmm. sure. So that's one uh, precaution that I want to mention first. Um, same thing with the other grill as well, the smaller one. So yeah, so this is mainly for soup, or if you want to sit in front of the table, you know, you want to throw vegetable in, anything in soup, you could just grab it out of it. So pretty much like a hot pot. So I'm, I'm calling it a hot, hot pot. Hot pot. So here's the grill itself. Ta da! Uh, let's take it out. Everything is in wrap right now. It's brand new, obviously. Got all these fancy uh, paper, Japanese writing on it. I don't know. Look at this shiny. I wouldn't say titanium metal, but yeah. Um, so you got the plugs right here. These are magnet, like I say, so it's easy to detach. Uh, if someone accidentally trip over the wire, it'll detach itself. So you don't want to, it wouldn't pull the whole grill along with it. Uh, on the side right here, it has the adjustable temperature. Really nice. Let's see what we got right here. You got off, grill, cook, keep warm, um, temperature simmer, and degrees. I'm sure the instruction has like a different ingredient on what kind of temperature you should set everything at. Uh, also, when you are cooking something, uh, make sure you have stuff inside the grill uh, if you're going to turn the heat all the way up. But if you turn the heat all the way up and if you don't have any food in it or nothing in it, you're just going to burn this, um, I don't know, ceramic coating. You're just going to burn it because this, uh, th this thing does have a chemical uh, I guess chemical film on it, which is not good for human body um, because it has a long stick um, um, chemical in it. So normally if you have food on top of it, when you are cooked, when it's wet or if you have a medium in it, which is fine. But if you do not have anything in it and cook just by itself, you're just going to burn the metal uh, after this, um, which is not good for the grill. Anyway, 
that's one point aside. But yeah, look forward to my next video when I start using this. Oh man, I'm so excited. In terms of cleaning, I don't know how easy it is to clean this. Um, because there is a lot of edges and crevices. So it's going to be hard to get to it. Um, I will say. So uh, one reminder, suggestion is that when you cook, just be careful. Try not to overfill them because you don't want the water to splash out. And if you, if the liquid with the soup does come out, um, I will say it's going to be hard to clean these just by looking at it right now. Um, so yeah, try to not overfill the, the pot with stuff on it. Um, on the side, it has like writing, instruction, caution, precaution, stuff like that. A lot of sticker. But overall, it's a nice looking pot. What do you guys think? Uh, grill or skillet. Right? So anyway, I hope you guys like the video. Um, if you do like it, please subscribe, hit like. And then on my next video, I'm going to show you guys when I'm going to use it. I actually bought all the ingredients and everything in the fridge ready. So I can't wait to start cooking, start using it. Um, so stay tuned and watch my next video on me using it. And then overall, I'll give you guys a review on how I like it. Um, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, definitely check out overstock.com too. I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I just thought that they have pretty good, decent price. And got to ship to my house pretty quick. So I like it. They have all these like a bubble wrap inside here. Um, so they store it really nicely. Um, the company inside, Joe Lushi, it's really nice. I used to have the uh, rice cooker before, mainly known for rice cooker. This is actually my first time buying uh, a skillet, a grill like this. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it so far just by opening it and looking at the packaging and stuff. I like it, but hey, we'll see after I start cooking it. I know that in Asia, they do just came out with different model i think sometime this month or last month they do came out with like the one that actual hot pot style where the the pot itself has a, a line in the middle where it divide the hot pot to left and right um but, and they do also have a different skillet with um different indentation and stuff like that on it um yeah i tried buying that one but apparently um they don't sell it in the u.s probably have to do with the outlet the power itself so but that is the newer model this the one that i bought even uh even though for then in the u.s is considered the the latest one that uh, you could purchase but i think this one came out maybe for two or three years now uh this model and this is the only model that they have which is brand new they do have a cheaper model uh the epr ac10 i believe uh, that one you probably save about 30 bucks 30 40 bucks which um i didn't think about i wanted to save that i mean i just wanted to get the latest with the the best stuff so that's why i got this one um but anyway thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time bye